Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. George Clooney threw his support behind Kamala Harris for president just two weeks after turning on President Joe Biden by writing a scathing op-ed urging him to drop out. Last month, the 63-year-old actor and husband of prominent international human rights lawyer Amal Clooney, 46, thanked President Biden, 81, for saving democracy as he endorsed his vice president. Clooney stated that he was excited for Harris, 59, and her historic quest to win the upcoming election. Now sources within the Democratic Party tell DailyMail.com Clooney's recent involvement in the presidential race is part of a calculated effort to put himself in line for a future White House run. His endorsement of Kamala was definitely calculated. George is contemplating a future run for president and he has the support of one of the most powerful Democrats in the world, Barack Obama. He has his scope set on a possible run for a Senate seat in 2026 and will undoubtedly continue to gain respect within the Democratic Party, the insider said. The Ocean's 11 actor's vocal support of Harris came after he penned a scathing op-ed in the New York Times urging Biden to drop out of the 2024 presidential race against Donald Trump, 78. There was a massive push amongst the Democrats to get Biden out of the race. George flicked the domino which launched him into a different political spectrum, the government insider revealed. In the past, Biden honored Clooney for his support, hosting him at the White House for the Kennedy Center Honors in December 2022. Clooney has since become a force in the Democratic Party, raising millions for its candidates. He's seen as an influential voice in American politics. Clooney's involvement in humanitarian efforts started in 2006 when George addressed the United Nations Security Council after visiting the drought-stricken Darfur region of Sudan. In 2007 he was awarded the 2007 Peace Summit Award. In 2010, George teamed up with the United Nations, Harvard University, and Google to launch the Satellite Sentinel Project. This allows private satellites to photograph political threats to civilians and detect bombs. For this he was awarded the 2010 Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award. In 2012, George and his dad demonstrated in front of the Sudanese embassy in Washington, D.C., to bring worldwide attention to the human rights violations in Sudan. In 2016 George and his wife Amal started the Clooney Foundation for Justice, an organization to put an end to human rights abuses worldwide, with programs dedicated to fighting systemic injustice against vulnerable communities. The foundation was showcased at the 2016 United Nations Summit hosted by former President Obama. Over the years, the Oscar-winning actor has testified before Congress and worked with two secretaries of state, dozens of senators and U.S. presidents forming an especially close relationship with Barack and Michelle Obama. The political insider told DailyMail.com that the strong bond formed between George and Obama has helped push him into the political spotlight. Obama's backing for George is evidence that Clooney is being groomed for a future in politics. Everyone recognizes the power and pull that George has, especially with Amal by his side, the insider said. The one thing that Clooney does not have, however, is experience in office. George is not battle-tested and has never run for office, but neither did Trump, the source pointed out. What George does have is money and lots of pull. He could easily fund himself if he really needed to. In the op-ed, Clooney called out Democratic leaders for ignoring every warning sign of Biden's declining physical and mental health and for trying to defend his car crash debate against Trump. Without George, Biden wouldn't have been forced out. He started the push with Obama's support and guidance, the source told DailyMail.com. Obama's main advisor Ben Shapiro called for Biden to step down before George and didn't get enough traction. George then followed with his op-ed because they knew the traction that his op-ed would get. He had nothing to lose and everything to gain, the insider added. Three weeks prior to the op-ed, on June 16, Clooney hosted a record-breaking $28 million fundraiser for Biden. In a statement made to CNN endorsing Harris, Clooney tried to make amends with Biden WH.